All right, uh, welcome to the backcountry here of Arizona. I have little man rolling shotgun, and we're out um, trying to get to a glassing point before dark to hopefully spot some antelope. I don't know if uh, you do know this, but I do guide on occasion. Um, the outfitter I guide for in Arizona is High Point Outfitters, good family friends of mine, great people, and uh, uh, have a good relationship with them. So uh, I do have an antelope hunter, and currently we are in the process of trying to find antelope. And looking for antelope is always fun. So hopefully we find something good, and hopefully we find some tonight. We're gonna get up on a glass and hill before it gets dark, and see what happens. You know, we're gonna find something. What is up, real gang? Glad to be back with you guys. Uh, it's been a minute. I know Sandman has been out scouting for antelope. I don't know if y'all already seen that yet in this vlog video, um, but I'm gonna roll a little footage from last night's adventure uh, here in Texas. I went out frog fishing. So we, I'll show you in the video, but we use a frog to catch frogs. So we're gonna go do that and then uh, show you a little bit about what I just did um, filming for my channel. Uh, doing a little more fishing so stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy this video What's up you guys and uh, welcome to a real hunting video? Uh, we have made it a goal to get together and do these kind of vlog videos where Even if Mike's in Texas, Ben's in AZ, wherever we're at We're still gonna throw some videos out for you guys. So that's what this is today a vlog So I'm gonna show you what I'm up to so today. I'm gonna be heading to uh, Big Sky in Montana for a total archery challenge event, but before I go I need to do a little bit of shooting so I got my target set up over here uh, I put a new side tape on my bow and I also tweak some adjustments on it so I want to make sure that I'm still stacking good at 20 and then when I get to uh, the actual event itself I should be able to side in and make sure my, my tape is on and my other yardages are good. So these events are super fun and ex exciting and a good way to get in shape and get used to shooting in for the hunt. So I got my little javelina set up over here, his name's Pepe, right there. I'm gonna put the camera on, send some arrows, and see how she's shooting. It's a little breezy. <laughs> Got pounded with rain today. Uh, I got a, looks like a buck pretty far off here. A uh, good buck. It's hard to tell because it's pretty far. But whenever you're judging antelope, there's really three key factors to Pay attention to when you're judging antelope. One being the length, the, the, the overall length of the antler, or the horn, or curves, the prongs, and then the mass. I would say the mass is probably the most crucial uh, measurement when coming to, when you're looking at antelope. Arizona is uh, really tough to draw antelope. Um, 25 plus years for an antelope tag. It's only practically a once in a lifetime hunt. So they, we take them pretty serious out here in Arizona. Um, but yeah, I go to Wyoming, uh, those northern states, Idaho, their tags are a little bit easier to get. So this looks like a good buck. Cheers to, what do you guys think it scores? Definitely looks like an 80s buck. Could be, could be better, but you, without getting closer, there's no way to really tell. I mean, the difference between a big antelope and a small antelope is like five inches. And, you know, if you're a half inch off on the mass measurement on each horn, you know, you have four mass measurements on each horn. So, you know, that's four inches right there if you're a half inch off on each, on each mass measurement. So it is not hard to get wrong so you want to definitely got to look over a lot of antelope uh, to get good so anyway hopefully we find some more brought the 22 maybe we'll get into some coyote or rabbit action for the little guy back with Hayden himself what's up what's you tying on I'm gonna go with the white frog today. You gonna trim that tail at all? I think so. I, I cut mine real short. Real short. Look at this. Short, short. Anyway, it's daylight. We normally, we're frog gigging today. Not, we're frog catching. We're going fishing for frogs. 
but it is not uh we usually go in the dark obviously it's daylight so we're gonna walk around we got a couple ponds to walk around and uh i don't want a bunch you know three four five frogs um will feed both of us and angel doesn't eat them so three or four three or four frogs is plenty enough for us for dinner um and they're delicious we take a couple out every year i almost brought the blowgun today but i didn't if y'all want to see that we can do that in another video but uh today we're just trying to catch dinner on a frog so these frogs are very i don't know if they're uh just territorial and that's why they eat a fake frog but they'll eat a worm too if you throw a worm over them they pretty much eat anything that comes by them so we're gonna head down to the pond see if we can fill this cooler up with a couple frogs and then uh tomorrow for lunch we're eating fried frog legs so uh let's get after it see if we can go catch a few frogs Uh, word of advice, make sure you dial your slider. I just shot for 40 at 20 yards, so that's great. Let's try another one. Left to right looks really good. All right, so. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Shaft did not break. My insert did pull out. Uh, donated one to the uh, block wall behind the target. Oh wow, I don't think I could put the, yeah, I'll put it in the video, who cares? But yeah, when you dial correctly, she shoots real good. So, fling another one, another couple here. I have to go get another arrow. Um, I love going hunting. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. Yeah. And this guy, oh, I don't know if you can hear that, but wind was bad. Yep. We're racing the sun. Got to get closer. I've got a good vantage point that I've already found that would be a good spot to look from. And so we're trying to beat the dark. See if we can get a better. Looks like a, looks like a pretty good buck. Got a ginormous bullfrog under this tree right here that's a hard cast and I just heard one back there so we try to skip it in there too and see if we can see if we can get There's another giant coming. Got him. Giant. Dude, this one's bigger than that other one. We gotta catch that other one too. This thing's a giant. <gasps> Dude, what a giant bullfrog. That's a giant. Holy cow. He swallowed it too. It's amazing how much better it shoots when you dial it to the right distance, huh? So, rest in peace, Pepe, he gone. Time to get loaded and get out of town. Yeah, I don't know what you think. Uh, I wanna get closer, but <clears throat> getting busted by these, this whole group of antelope down on this rise. A bunch of does and stuff, so I can only get so close. No, definitely one that I'd be putting putting down. Oh, 
anyway it's pretty cool all right hayden's up that is an absolute oh dude i know there's some big ones Got him. Got him. Is he still on? Oh, yep. Yeah. Is it the big one? No, it's the one that was behind him. Heck he's yeah. Don't break him off. Oh yeah, he's still on there. That's a good oh, eater. Good eater. Yes, sir. Another big one though. We gotta get that. Other. We gotta get, get that, that other one. Freaking monster. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can pull all four of them out. Dude, I'm gonna get warts. He peed on me. <laughs> For real? That's how you get them? No, it's oh not. My God. Yes, it is. If I have a wart tomorrow. Hold up your frog to my frog. He's peeing so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's a monster. That is a monster frog. That's some turkey legs. All right. We got two more to get out of this hole. And then I think that's, I mean, this is a meal in itself right here. What'd you just do, Hayden? He already got away. Hayden just let the giant go. Oh my god. On gosh. the transfer. And then that big now that big one's out in the middle. I can't believe you just did that. That was a rookie that was, move. I was gonna mount him, dude. It was a rookie move, I know. I messed it <sighs> up. Alright, let me try to get this other one. So I am right now in Yellowstone National Park. Um, you have to cut through the park just for a little bit here on the way to Big Sky. Uh, I'm actually in Wyoming for a second right now. I was in Idaho, then I crossed to Montana, now I'm in Wyoming, and I will cross back to Montana again here shortly before I arrive at the event. But if you guys have never been up here, this place is worth just checking out to check out. I mean, beautiful. And once you get outside of like West Yellowstone, there's not near as many people on the road. It's not near as chaotic. And uh, it's just an enjoyable spot to come check out. It's like 70 degrees today. Like, what even is that? I've been in 110 for the last month. So, it's a good break. Good time to get away. Oh, I thought it was a bear, it was just a rock. I bet Ben and Mike wish they were here with those little wimpy fly rods. We could be flinging them back and forth so so much right now. We usually chum them up right here, but chum them up over here this time. I'll give them all of the crust. Get the big boys coming in. There's a catfish. I'm gonna take the. Oh my gosh, there he is. There's a job. Alright guys, Tiny hook. Red ball. Gonna mush it up. I'm just gonna barely hook it. Oh, got fish. Got fish. Okay, we got a catfish. Woo! We're gonna let this guy go. We're here for carp. Good little catfish, though. Oh, no. Here, boy. Here, boy. <laughs> wow, he cannot. A giant. Oh, just a giant perch. Look at that thing. How can you... Just a stud. Come on. Giant. All right. But a whole bluegill, it's happening. the flip-flop this is the man himself Andy game over he's been on the meets this is a family tradition right Marin County and uh, you can hit up Andy he knows all the sauce secrets yeah but it's a whole meal their leg and you just sear but if you guys want more info I'm gonna tag Andy below look at this beautifulness 
Oh my gosh, it's a great day. Get it. <laughs> nope, nope, just all in there. She's been very dainty. Very dainty. <laughs> Tell people about Total Water Tree Challenge. If they're considering going to this event, what do you think they should do? I think they should come. Just pony up, make sure you get in line early, get your tickets, and come and see us. Yeah, it's yeah, great. It's great. It's a great event. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Back at the house now, cooking up some whole bluegill. We call them perch here in Texas, um, but cooking a, cooking some whole perch for dinner. So I'm gonna eat these bad boys and then uh, go to bed. But we got awesome stuff coming for you guys, uh, so stay tuned. I don't know how um, all this video is being put together, but hope you enjoyed everybody's content. But thank you guys for all your support. We're here at the Real Channel. Uh, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, keep it real.